Details of Johnny Depp's tumultuous divorce with actress Amber Heard are some of the most disturbing celebrity-related news to break in a while. Details of their marriage have been even harder to swallow. The pair have been involved in a nasty court case for most of their separation, and it seems as though something's finally come out of it. We don't mean progress. We mean the fact that a documentary has just been approved by Discovery Plus over the pair's case. Here's everything that might entail. Why this particular court case? You don't need us to remind you of the catastrophically publicized separation between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, both of whom hold a certain amount of respect in the acting world. It would be safe to claim that everyone had an opinion once the first few details of their marriage started pouring in, and with no way of legitimizing these details, the press ran story after story, making their divorce one of the most, if not the most, notorious celebrity separations of the decade. Even though the pair's divorce was finalized in 2017, details of their one-year marriage still keep drudging up, which left a sour taste in the mouths of everyone still following the story. On November 19th, Discovery Plus released a statement claiming that they were working on a two-part mini-docu-series, which tells the story of the breakdown. Next, what to expect from Johnny and Amber. The show is in production, and is said to be titled Johnny vs. Amber, and will discuss, analyze, provide details of their marriage, and discuss how it tipped into the celebrity court case of the decade. There's no doubt that the documentary will be widely viewed, as intrigue around the case has led to several groups, each of which claims to understand the true inner workings of this complex and highly toxic marriage. The viewers may turn to this two-part series in hopes of finding out the truth, so there's an inordinate amount of pressure Optimen must feel when it comes to displaying all events and facets of this incident accurately. Since the press holds the power to direct mindsets and sway perspectives, an example of which is the Depp vs. Heard case in its entirety, it will be interesting to see the direction Discovery Plus takes it in. What will the show focus on? The show is being produced by, as we mentioned, Optimen, and would allegedly tell this international cover story from two polarized perspectives, which we take to mean that it might include both Amber's and Johnny's narrative. The Discovery streamer also provided details on how they'd portray both these stories, and in this documentary, Johnny Depp's version of events will include him finding himself married to a Machiavellian villain who would go to a extreme length to protect her image in front of the public. On the other hand, Amber's portrayal will showcase her unknowingly marrying a man she believed to be one of her dreams, only for him to turn into a violent, drug-fueled monster. And while this is a gross oversimplification of the events that tied the pair together, sensationalism sells. And this hook is guaranteed to get people watching the docuseries. Who will be involved in the production? The series will feature people involved in both sides of the argument. Lawyers and people close to the pair will be accounting for the their version of the events. In fact, it's rumored that the episode may even feature video and audio recordings taken by Heard and Depp themselves. Claire Laycock, who is Senior Vice President for Planning and Insights, as well as the Head of Entertainment at Discovery, said that the series would attempt to provide an in-depth insight into the epic battle that powered the hashtags and fan campaigns, hashtag justice for Johnny Depp, and I stand with you, Amber Heard. It would also provide insight into the very public high court case that gripped us all, she said, calling the results of their efforts both engrossing and horrifying. If you've been under the rock for the past five years, or just haven't kept up since the first court case details dropped, here's a rundown of the whole timeline of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's association with each other. Now, let's look into the dating and early states. It began as most relationships do, well, most celebrity relationships. In 2009, the pair met on the set of The Rum Diary, a movie both of them starred in. The movie's plot revolved around a love triangle triangle as Depp's character, Paul Kemp, falls head over heels for Heard's character, Chenault, who's engaged to another man. In 2011, Heard claimed that working with Johnny Depp was torture. She claimed it was better than she could have ever imagined, which was apparently saying something. By early 2012, the pair were going steady. This was confirmed by Amber Heard's court filing and the fact that Depp separated from his longtime partner, Paradis, around the same time. Paradis and Johnny had been together for 14 years and shared two children, Lily Rose and John Christopher. Amber broke up with her partner, Tasia Von Rhee, in late 2011 as well. Interestingly enough, Heard was arrested in 2009 for assaulting then-girlfriend Van Rhee in an airport in Washington, although Van Rhee herself went ahead and claimed that Heard was wrongfully accused by cops who, quote, misinterpreted and over-sensationalized the incident. Next, engagement and early marriage. And so the pair was married, or allegedly so, until their relationship 
progressed. People magazine spotted Amber Heard wearing an ornate engagement ring and reported that the two were officially engaged. In fact, the pair seemed giddy enough that Depp himself went on a video interview to confirm the announcement. In the interview with Daily Mail, Johnny Depp discussed wedding plans and pointed out the fact that he was wearing a chick's ring on his finger. He poked fun at the size of it as well, calling it a dead giveaway, isn't it? And not very subtle. By 2015, a year into their engagement, the pair wedded in a private ceremony. The ceremony took place in their home in LA, and close friends and family attended. And that was that. Or so people thought. Up next, we dive into the divorce and initial drama. A mere year into married life, Amber Heard filed for divorce from Johnny Depp on May 23, 2016, accusing him of physical abuse and even managed to obtain a temporary restraining order against him. According to her, Johnny Depp had physically abused her during their relationship and claimed that it usually happened while he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. As for the reason for their divorce, Heard claimed that he had recently thrown his phone at her, which left her with a bruised face. Depp, at the time, denied these accusations through his representatives and claimed that Amber Heard was lying to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. The same year, the pair reached the settlement out of court for $7 million, and although Heard had already testified under oath, she accepted the settlement and even rescinded her spousal support request of $50,000 a month. According to People, she donated the $7 million to charity. The pair later released a statement addressing the mess together, claiming that their relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but it was always bound by love, and that neither party had made false accusations for financial gain. The statement also claimed that there was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Now for the after-divorce madness. The pair finalized their divorce in 2017. Heard kept their dogs whilst Depp retained full possession of all properties, including his private island in the Bahamas, as well as all of his classic cars and motorcycles. According to The Hollywood Reporter, a non-disparagement clause was added to their settlement, preventing either party from speaking negatively about their high-profile relationship and breakup. In 2018, Amber Heard wrote an op-ed for The Washington Post, talking about the abuse that she suffered. She claimed that around the time of the divorce, she became somewhat of a public figure, representing domestic violence, and how she felt when people accused her of lying about him. Although no names were named, Depp sued Heard for $50 million for defamation over the Washington Post article. This suit claimed that Heard was not a victim of domestic abuse, but was actually a perpetrator. Now, this raised a few eyebrows. The suit continued the narrative that Heard had created an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity. In a court filing following the suit, Heard detailed multiple instances of alleged abuse that she said occurred during their marriage. A different perspective. In 2020, audio recordings were released to the public where Amber Heard vocally admitted to hitting Depp. These audio recordings, where Amber claimed that she slapped Depp and tried to convince him that she didn't really punch him, unlocked a whole new facet of their relationship, where both parties were equal victims and equal abusers. Heard even claimed that she couldn't promise that she wouldn't get physical again. Depp then lost a court case wherein the court ruled that he was indeed a wife beater, therefore the son could call him so in their headlines. After this incident, more reports of Amber Heard being abusive in their relationship began surfacing. And that's all for this video. Are you interested to see how Discovery Plus handles this sensitive case of a toxic celebrity marriage? If so, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.